What's up? Uh, guys, sorry, we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to jump right into this. I have to jump uh, on the plane and go to London. We are doing something with the Sidemen, but I got my guest here, my first guest on the reaction Woo! tour. Let's go. Wait, did we have a guest on the podcast? We, we did, but we never introduced him. It was AJ, and we just never said anything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh well, that's sorry about that, AJ. What are we uh, What are we watching today? Things that Shaq spends his money on. Stupidly expensive things, you might say. I like Shaq. Shaq's, Shaq's like a good dude. Shaq's a forever legend. These are the top eight stupidly expensive things Shaq owns. And for number eight, Shaq spent more money on a fish tank than you did on your car. Yeah. I've watched uh, videos of Shaq's fish tank. And his Wait, palm. stop, stop. No, no, no there's have. no way. I have. There's no way. He has the gnarliest, like, koi pond in his front yard. The boys on Animal Planet is tanked and asked for the craziest fish tank they could think of. So, that's exactly what they gave him. Jack, come on in, pal! Peekaboo! Oh! This is an Egyptian-themed 800-gallon tank featuring three exotic grouper fish, a Japanese Kadako eel, and three custom Sphinx hookah statues, bringing the total cost of this room to $120,000. Jake had something like this in front of his bedroom. Really? Like in front of his bed, he had a fish tank. Well, Shaq could lose 120K and not even notice. I mean, for number seven, the dude spent more money on a single tree house than most people do on their actual house. Yeah. Back in 2018, Shaq decided to hit up the TV show Treehouse Masters to build the treehouse of his dream. Can I ask you why he always come in like this? <laughs> Yo, he's a marketing genius. Yeah, he's yeah. on all these shows. Yeah, he hits up all the like those shows that does these things. Bro, what if he's like beyond a genius? What if it's the marked price, but they give it to him for free because he's Shaq. So he's just walking around getting all and this. And then we're reacting to it. And we're just like this. We're like, no way. He's spending all that much money. He's getting it. He's a genius. One, two, three. A handcrafted metal fire. Nah. It's not a house. Wait, is it not, <laughs> is That's is not a tree house? <laughs> is it not a tree? That's just a house in the woods, bro. That ain't in the. I was expecting like you have to go, that's, a, that's like a house. Back. Custom nine foot mahogany door, an intricate tin ceiling. This thing has got it all. And on the inside, it's got a poker table, dartboard, full service bar, and an original painting of Dr. Diesel himself. Hold on. I've never seen anybody do, do this to me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's, that's an honor. Shaq, you can thank the guy all you want. But you had to fork over four hundred thousand dollars. Four hundred thousand dollars for a damn treehouse. All right, I mean, let's be honest. Four hundred thousand dollars for a treehouse the size of an actual home kind of makes sense. But it does though, structurally. Yeah. It could be your guest house. It's not a treehouse. Yeah. It's, it's a little up in the tree. That's like a guest house. Maybe just... hear me out. Marketing genius. He just used the show idea yeah. to finesse himself a really nice poker room. <laughs> Pretty much. You know what I mean? Look, you just changed my opinion. I'm like, no, for real. Man's a genius. We'll go down in history as the dumbest thing Shaq spends money on. See, back in 2014, Shaq was at a business conference in Texas when, during an interview with USA Today, Shaq dropped a bombshell. Hey, every time an iPhone comes out, I buy 50. 50 iPhones? Yes, I pass what them do you do out. with 50 iPhones? I pass them out, and then I just pass, like, kids, like, I'll, you know, tweet and be like, hey, this is Shaq. I left the iPhone 7 right next to my old place where I used to work out. So one thing I do know about him through like uh, just interviews and, and other people talking about him, he gives a lot of his money away. Yeah. Like a lot of his money. And the guy who made this YouTube video was like, this has to be the stupidest thing he spends his money on. And it's like, he buys 50 iPhones to give them to people. Since they came out, he spent $747,618. Damn. But I mean, let's be honest. Shaq probably wipes his gigantic ass with 750K. So let's talk about what Shaq spends millions. Yeah, like this guy's, you see what? This guy's voice is his so gigantic mean. gigantic ass. And what better way to start than number five? Shaq's 72 foot Pershing yacht. This thing is insane. It's got a kitchen, three bedrooms, a hidden cruise quarter. Hell, it's even got a fruit bowl. But yeah, as cool as this yacht is, what if I told you Shaq got bullied for it? Yeah. Back in 2018, Shaq posted this picture and asked his fans to help name his new yacht. But uh, this backfired. 
because one guy hit Shaq with the roast of all roast, saying, call it free throw, so you won't ever sink it. Damn, Andy, what the hell? Andy, that doesn't even have any likes. It's like one random comment from Facebook. He made it seem like, I swear, I, the way he built it up, I, I thought Shaq was like, we gotta get rid of the boat. Like, I can't live anymore. Like, I can't even, I can't even sail this boat without even, you think that this man that has money to give out $750,000 worth of iPhones is sitting around being like, oh no, now that they got me on the sink, Better give my boat away. At the end of the day, Shaq's the one riding around in a yacht worth $1.7 million. Yeah. But as if this yacht wasn't enough. I've never seen a picture with Shaq with hair before. I kind of like it. Shaq's car collection is on another level of flex, making it number four on our list. See, back in 1992, Shaq spent his first NBA check on three different Mercedes Benzes. And with that, he started a car buying addiction. Cause Shaq went out and built one of the most expensive garages in NBA history. I'm talking classics like his vintage 1963 Cadillac Eldorado, the actual car used in the movie Scarface, and his 1964 Chevy Impala that he bought from Snoop Dogg. Can you believe that Snoop Dogg? Getting started, cause when it comes to Shaq's custom cars, this man went all out. Like Shaq literally took an Infiniti G35, which looks like this, and used a custom Vader body kit to turn it into a completely new car. Or uh, let's look at his Dodge Charger SRT helmet. No, I don't like that, that's, that's stupid. Were those two, two completely different cars? Why don't you like that? Nah, that's just like, nah. It, it's not very tasteful, so I will agree with the title on that one. Ridiculous. But these are nothing compared to Shaq's collection of ultra luxury cars. Cause Shaq not only owns a Mercedes S550, a Porsche Panamera, a Lamborghini Gallardo, but he also owns two Ferraris, three Bentleys, and three Rolls Royces. Damn. If you add up all 40 of Shaq's cars, his entire garage is worth over $5 million. Clearly, Shaq's got a problem, but believe it or not, this isn't even Shaq's most expensive addiction. Car-wise, those cars nice? Yeah, everything else, I mean, yeah, decent picks. The Infinity, I don't know why he would have done that. Number three, Shaq can't stop buying multi-million dollar mega mansions. And it all started in 1992, when as a member of- He builds this guy up, he's like, don't make me do yeah. it. I can't stop it. You know how long it takes to buy a house, man? It takes a long time, bro. Just being an escrow takes a long time. Buying a 36,000 square foot lakefront mansion in Orlando, Florida. And uh, this place is insane. It has 12 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a 17 car garage, and an NBA sized basketball court with the rebound logo right in the middle. Yeah, that's right. Even Shaq's out here subscribed to the channel. So if you're not, then what the hell are you doing? But anyways. I want to subscribe just to unsubscribe. This entire mansion is worth $16.5 million. And with that, Shaq was hooked. Cause over the next 17 years, he went on to buy six more mega mansions. One in Vegas, two in LA, one in Phoenix, an $18.8 million property in Miami. But his last one is special. Cause Shaq went out and dropped a million dollars on his Atlanta mansion. Wait, what? A million dollars? Why the hell is this dude living here when he's got an $18 million mansion? Man, I, I don't know. But what I do know is that his entire mansion collection is worth over $48 million. That's crazy. Yo, how much money is he worth? That's what I'm saying. That's insane. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he... Is he a billionaire? They're saying net worth is $400 million. That sounds about right. $400 million is a lot of money. Yeah. Oh my God. What would you guys do with that money? Comment down below. And I'm not just using this as an opportunity to gain more traction on the algorithm. <laughs> I truly do care about what you guys would buy with $400 million. In fact, I care so much. Why don't you subscribe? So that way in the future, if we ever bump into each other, you know what? Like the video too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because... Cause you're there, you're there. There's a reason Shaq bought all these mansions. He needs some space to fit what he's buying in number two, dead people. Yeah. See, over the years, Shaq bought all kinds of investments 
like Five Guys, Papa John's, uh, even Krispy Kreme. But in 2018, oh, he bought Five Guys. Well, I was about to say, bro, he just kind of passed through like like what made him probably like stupid rich. This is great investments. He is the joint owner of 155 Five Guys Burgers restaurants, 17 Auntie Annie's Pretzel restaurants, 150 car washes, 40 24-hour fitness centers, a shopping center, a movie theater, and several Las Vegas nightclubs. What the? That's crazy. I was looking for a killer investment, something that would bury the competition. So he hit up Authentic Brands Group, a $10 billion brand management company to strike the deal of a lifetime. And Shaq ended up selling the rights to his own name for over $270 million. But it's what he bought with that money that will keep you up at night. I don't like to seem like I'm bragging, but I'm gonna ask you a question. Who owns Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe. Playboy? Who owns Elvis Presley? Me. The Diesel. Stop playing! Talk heavy. Talk heavy. So, when I was retiring, I called the three companies that help people live forever, and they brought my band for a lot of money. So I took half that money, put it back in the company, now I'm the number two guy in the company. Now I own all those other brands. So if Shaq goes away, shit, we still got Elvis. <laughs> Hold on, so like he's involved with the Elvis movie? And he owns the right to Elvis. To so the brand? Who the f would have thought that Shaq is making plays like this? This man Shaq is really out here buying dead people for $135 million. Can somebody just kill me now, please? This has to be the most expensive thing Shaq owns, right? Well, believe it or not, there's one final thing Shaq owns that's worth more than 135 million. See, back in 2000. I, I know, I know what his first one is. When I found out I about this, I, I lost my shit. I'm pretty sure. Wait, that was number two? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he owns. I thought he owned the ring app. The ring app. Yeah, he was a the part. Camera? Yeah, he was a part. Shaq decided to use some of his NBA money to begin investing in real estate, and his first move was buying 21 housing communities in Colorado for thousands of low-income families, making Shaq the largest landlord in the United States, literally. Now, this one deal was worth a whopping $100 million, but Shaq's real estate career had only just begun, because in 2019, he partnered with Beret Development to build the biggest flex you could imagine, a 22-story skyscraper with 168 luxury apartments called Shaq Tower. And the value of this no building comes, comes out, out to eighty million dollars. We've blown past four hundred already. No, this man is a unit. What? What? First of all, when? How? What the? F no, yeah, no so wonder he respect. wasn't good at free throws. He wasn't practicing basketball. He was in business meetings, bro. How do you have that much going on, dude? I thought Logan was killing it, and he has prime and box. This guy has a list of. Oh my God. Well, I, think, well where, think of how old he is. No, I, I know. Don't. I was just, you made it real. Now I feel bad. I was just joking. No, I know. I'm saying, bro. No, now really I have to compliment my friend. That's really impressive because I also feel like he stays pretty low key on the social media. Another tower in Newark, worth even more a 33 story luxury apartment complex, complete with restaurants, a roof deck plaza, and private lounges called the house that Shaq built. Now, it turns out that this building is worth $150 million. No, at this point, he owns people? We were really talking places. shit on his treehouse, bro. Yeah, he can have a f***ing treehouse if he wants. Like, that was crazy. Like, 100%. He was probably doing the treehouse people a favor, letting them come in his back. Yeah, 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 being on the show. His real estate investments, his entire portfolio, is worth an incredible $330 million easily making it the number one most stupidly expensive thing that Shaq owns. But you know what's not expensive at all? Watching times Charles Barkley disrespected NBA players. All right, well, uh, we gotta head out. Thanks for watching. Uh, thank any, you. any last words? Oh, that was amazing, thank you guys. Yeah, yes, you, thank you, uh, shake my hand. Thank you. Thank you. Great, it was a, oh, thank it's you. It's been a pleasure. It was a, it was a real pleasure. Real. Well, wow, that was a fun video.